the Great Wall of Dallas. And today I want to highlight Mark II and A. I'm a huge Dallas Cowboy fan. I've been a Cowboy fan since the late 70s when I was a little kid. And during the Super Bowl run, which I'll talk about in just a few minutes, in the 90s, Mark Tuane was a key member of it. But of course, he's in the trenches. He's a, in the front line. He's a unsung hero. But today, I want to highlight his life and just talk about his high school career, his college career, and his professional career, and even a little acting career. Mark Tuane was born March the 31st, 1960. Tuane was born in Oceanside, California, but he was raised in Hawaii, attended a Honolulu, Hawaii high school. He was named Hawaii Prep Lineman of the Year as a senior and won the state shot put championship, was an all-star basketball player while playing on the same team with our current president, Barack Obama. College career. Two and A played two seasons at UCLA, where he started at defensive tackle as a sophomore, finished fifth on the team in tackles. The next year, he decided to drop out of school before facing possibility of being expelled after a fight incident. As a junior, he transferred back home to the University of Hawaii, but was suspended for a year after being indicted on assault charges that led to spending three months in prison. He was nagged by injuries his senior year and played only seven games. In 2007, he was introduced into the Hawaii Sports Hall of Fame. Tuane was signed as an undrafted free agent by the Dallas Cowboys in 1983, making the team as a defensive tackle to back up the Hall of Famer Randy White. In 1985, the Cowboys offensive line needed some help, so he went from Randy White's backup to the offensive line. Tuane played different positions along the offensive line until 1987, when he became a full-time starter at left tackle, eventually helping to protect Hall of Famer Troy Aikman and paving the way for Hall of Fame running back Emmitt Smith to become the NFL all-time leading rusher. Tuane was a key member of the Cowboys offensive line, helping the team win Super Bowl 27, Super Bowl 28, and Super Bowl 30, along with the NFC East Division championships in 1985 and from 92, 1992 to 1996. After 12 seasons, he was selected to the Pro Bowl in 1994 and 1995. Knee problems into his career after the 1997 season when Larry Allen took over for him at left tackle. His role, his role in some of the greatest offensive lines in NFL history was detailed in an NFL Network 2013 football life called the Great Wall of Dallas. That's why I named it this. I, it was that it is really good documentary. On April the 14th, 1998, he was released in a salary cap move, finished tied with Ed Tutal Jones and Bill Bates for playing the most consecutive years in a cowboy uniform, 15. All three of them played 15 years as a Dallas Cowboy. His death was in May 1999. Tuane was found unconscious in his car, pronounced dead upon arrival at the hospital. Tuane had been planning to be an offensive line coach at the high school he attended as a young man. The report on his death said it was a lethal combination of heroin in a form of the drug ecstasy, his death was ruled a accidental overdose upon the release of the autopsy. 
and this is what the police chief said. What you had was a 39-year-old male, 6'5", 300 pounds, healthy individual, took one shot of heroin and basically dropped dead as a result. And the report goes on to say they end up, they arrest four individuals, which that was a good thing. Four individuals that were dealing in drugs. Now this is, I'm going to end this little highlight of Mark Tuane with this. In 1982, he played a small role in the show Magnum P.I., and the name of the show, or the title of the, the show, was Italian Ice. And that's a picture of him in the uh, TV series Magnum P.I. And he was playing a college student in the uh, show. But anyways, I'm going to do a part two of the Great Wall of Dallas. And I'm gonna, we're going to highlight next Mark Stepnoski. One of, one of Troy Aikman's, it was Troy Aikman's center uh, for quite a long time, and he was a part of their Super Bowl, a lot of their Super Bowl uh, wins they had in the 90s.